hello welcome back to my channel if you're new on here please do not forget to subscribe and also to my returned viewers thank you so much for keeping up with me also please follow me on instagram and on facebook at it's willis kitchen today we are making ghana flat chips this is very popular chips in ghana and i'm going to leave the ingredients under the description so you can check it out along with the quantity let's get right into it first combine all the dry ingredients together so i have my flour salt nuts made and i'm also going to add a pinch of garlic powder and I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together. Once everything is mixed together, I will scoop in two tablespoons of batter. Now, if you don't have this batter at home, feel free to use the batter stick. The measurement is actually on the batter stick, so you can actually see just two tablespoons. Mix everything together. So grab a little bit in your hand. If they stick together, that means the batter is evenly spread in the flour. Go ahead and add your onions and mix everything together. Then go in with your water. Mix everything together to form a dough and we are ready to roll the dough. Before you do so, turn on your stove so you can preheat the oil because it's not going to take long. Sprinkle some flour on your work area and just roll the dough. You want it to be thin, um, not super thin but just like a good size before you slice the dough. This is how thin you want it to be. I'm going to lift it so you can see the actual size I'm looking at. So you see how thin it is. It's not super thin, but it's just proper size. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear the edges of my dough. Um, you don't have to do this, but I just want to have like an even size on each end. So that's why I'm just clearing it. And I'm just using this pizza slicer to kind of slice my dough. You can feel free to use a knife. If you have a pasta machine at home, use that as well. Um, but I'm just using this for this video. And you can actually just fry it just like how it is, but I am just dividing into two sides and just separate them before I fry them. So our oil is preheated. I'm just going to go ahead and drop the chips in the oil, spread them evenly and allow this to fry for two minutes. After two minutes, you can see that they will begin to harden. So go ahead and kind of move them around in the oil. You don't want them to stay at one spot. If not, it will burn easily. This should take about five minutes to fry and look, we are all done. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave a comment below, like, share, and also to my new viewers, please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, this is Willis Kitchen and happy Sunday.